another day another blessing welcome back again to my youtube channel this is your one and only mawira and in case it's your first time to see my face to come across my channel consider subscribing liking the video and giving up a comment so it's yet another day and uh, as usual guys i'm coming live from my home my village and um, i'm recording outside our gate i have someone behind me simply because inside there there's some some stuff going on and uh, people around there they don't feel comfortable being filmed so that's why i'm doing the intro and the gate so as you can see today guys i have my cap on my t-shirt on big label <laughs> on and uh, i'm going to work in the shamba at uh, our, other, our other home so like i will explain that later yeah i'm going to do some few some a little bit work is it chores or work i don't know but i'll i'll show you guys so this is our top mason here would you consider saying hi Salimi Awatu. Niaje? He see he's not in good mood because simply because tomorrow is our independent day or Madaraka day and he hasn't been paid. So he wants to be paid. Amu na tama una sema nini? Eh tulipo ya ya kesho ni Madaraka day. Tumepigika saa hii na wewe ndio mdosi wetu na tulipo. So guys he saying that tomorrow is uh, a Madaraka Day or Independence Day in Kenya and he wants to get some money. He wants to be paid and he doesn't work. He doesn't want to work tomorrow. He wants to be on leave tomorrow. So <laughs> and he's telling me like uh, I'm the boss. Like I should pay him. And then I'm telling him, no, I'm not the boss. You should you know someone who gave you the work, so you should go and ask the money from that person. So but anyway, that's our stories with him. So I hope he'll get sorted out. Anyway, definitely he will be paid. It's not on a bad note, but they just wanna go and enjoy tomorrow. Cause actually guys, the president is coming in my hometown. Yo, the president of the Republic of Kenya. And let me tell you guys, so like I am in, this is Kirinyaka County where I am now, is Kirinyaka County, but the, the houses that you can see over there, those houses you see, and the billboard you see, they are in another county. In between, there's a river that separates Embu County and Kirinyaka County. So this is the thing, guys. Uh, I was born in Embu County, but I live in Kirinyaka County and everything that I do, most of the stuff that I do, I do them in Embu County. So I can proudly say like the president is coming in my hometown. So tomorrow I'll just go and have a glimpse of it. But so far, so far, guys, I have felt the power. Like when you know like the president is coming, I have felt what it means that the president is coming because the face of the town has changed. Like everything has changed. I'll do a video for you guys. For me, showing you of the things that have changed. So guys, as for now, I'm gonna go. I'll catch up when you get where I'm going. Stay tuned. So guys, the other day I was working here. We were, we were making some columns on this house. Like this is what we are building. Yeah, we were making these columns. And then after that, I left. But the masons continued their, their job. They did the amazing work. They put on some bricks on. Yeah, we were making this column over here. I see. But then we have some bricks on top of it. So the work has been going on well. So this is our other home. We have come to work. Yep, yep, yep. So welcome, welcome back home. 
that's a beautiful compound like the house the home is still new we still have some a lot of work to do that's my sister here say hi hi <laughs> What you doing? She's I'm peeling some bananas. bananas here. <laughs> are you, what are you doing? I'm boiling marigolds here. You use proper English, man. Oh, I'm peeling bananas. For what? For cooking. So what are you planning to cook? <laughs> <laughs> so she's planning to cook some matoke. Matoke is a mixture of bananas and some potatoes, which is the mainly food that is found in Uganda but as Kenyans we know how to play like us yeah. so guys with me I have my panga <laughs> this one and as you can see I told you like I always have my long sleeved t-shirt and my gum boots on <laughs> so I am going to the shamba uh, I am going to clear because uh, uh, there's some place where we have said that the meals that we had we had grown like we were spring we was sprinkling them with water so they are ready and we've already harvested and eaten them so I am going to clear that space so that maybe I can prepare it for some other purposes because I want to plant some kills uh, so so now as you can see I'm going to the shamba and I'll show you how we do it in Africa remember this is Kenya here is Africa. You come in live from my village in Kenya County in Kenya. So I'll take along I'll take you along to see how it happens, how you do our thing. So guys, uh, these are some of the kills. But this breed is not awesome. We discussed with my aunt and we were like this breed of, of kills is not good. Because let me show you. Let me show you the difference. That's our our uh, goat over there, this one, it doesn't have a name. <laughs> it when it was small, very small. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so, so you see this one, th these scales, you harvest them only one season and then they are over. And then after that, you cannot, you cannot even make any con from them. But mostly we are farming this one for domestic use. But right now we want to go large scale for commercial purposes. So this plant, when you plant this one, you'll just harvest it one, once and you forget about it. So uh, for those who don't know, these are some pumpkin leaves. These are pumpkin leaves and they're used for making some African dishes. It's an African dish called mukimo which is a combination of maize, a combination of maize, uh, beans, and potatoes. Then you, you, you mash them. And then you, like, you add this one to add them the green color. So we make, it, we make an African dish called mokimo. And then, this is a pumpkin flowering. So a small pumpkin is almost coming out there. Yo! So, as I was telling these guys, this scale, like you only harvest it once, and it's it's it, it's very it's, it's easily affected by the insecticide. But you see this one, it's growing long, and this one it has been here for the last one year, and you see it is still fresh, it's still fresh, and in good condition, and it at least, and it doesn't have acid. It's an acidic plant, so. We are going to plant this one, uh, like we are going to focus on planting this one. And then, so what happens, you come, you pluck this part here, you pluck this small part, and then you insert it on the ground and it grows. Like, let me show you one, like this one. This one is a cutting, we call them cutting, you see? And then uh, some leaves will start germinating from here. So this one was just was plucked from that big uh, kale over there. Then it was inserted under the ground, and it was 
and then next is now germinating and to other business so that's it for kills and i told you this is our cassava tree so this is our other home we have two homes the upper one and the lower one so the upper one is major, majorly uh, <laughs> for residential purposes for those people who, are, who have rented in that space they are um, my aunt felt it was good for her to separate, to just come and live by herself in this place and this space and then she leave the other space to the tenants. Yeah, so that's my friend from Tanzania. He's on the phone. So I am going to, uh, to prepare to cut to clean up this space. I'm going to clean up this place. These are millet or sorghum. These are sorghum. Hello? Salimia out to Tanzania. So I was telling him to say hello to his Tanzania people because I have some people from Tanzania watching me. So guys I'm going to to show you how we do it. We do this. So guys, uh, I hope you can see me. So this is how you clear. I'm going to cut this down. Cut them down like this. Yeah. I make sure like everything is clean. And then there are some maize and some corn. This one. You see because of, of uh, plenty of water, the maize has started germinating while it's still on the, on the plant. So I'm going to clear them out. Not a one. Eh? Not a one. You're going to come to the house of Tanzania and go to the house of Tanzania. Not a one. Eh? Not a one. Oh, no. No, no. The design. I want to change the button of your phone. I want to change the button of your phone. Ili watumie? Eh? Una watumie au? Hapana hii nitaweka mahali kwa mtandao. Eh? Kisha rani tutazama baadaye. Baadaye? Eh, nikishaweka. Eh. Ningitoka hapa ndio nitaweka mtandao. Kwa hiyo nikiwa na simu kama hii naipata kila kitu. Eh. Wala leo ni mkenya na sasa nafikia panga na hapa ndio tupiga story, niambie bili tatu za kweli. Mhm. Kuja pande hii nipatie story. Alafu ndio alafu ndio ije huko. Si mbaya. Eh. Uniambie kama kama wa Maasai wa Tanzania na wa Kenya ni wanaelewa wanaelewa lugha moja na wanaelewa yeye. Si kweli? Kabisa. Si wewe ni wengi na 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 Maasai wa Kenya na muelewane kabisa? Kabisa. Na kina je na na pia Tanzania na pia kuna kuna wajaluo. Wapo. Kule kuna wajaluo. Tongea hapa hivi niende huko kidogo hapo. Kwa hiyo eh Hata kuona sana. Mimi ndio wanaona sana. Hata wajua hata wakiniona kwa nini wakiniona ni kosa? Na si kosa. Tanzania kuna wajaluo? Wapi? Kuna wajaluo? Na Wakuria pia. Wakuria ni wao? Wakuria wao wapo pale Hispania. Aje Wakuria wapo Burundi. Wakuria wanajeshi karibu Okay, na mjaluo mjaluo na, na mkuria wewe uwezi umkuta mkuria wote ni wa usindingu na je sasa mjaluo wa Tanzania kwenye kitu Tanzania anaweza leo na mjaluo wa Kenya kweli maana yake kuna msanii mmoja najua anaitwa Baraka anaitwa Baraka the Prince eh mimi jamani ni mjaluo wa Kenya Kwa huko huko? Kwa Tanzania. Lakini wakitoka huko wakaenda huko? Kwa hiyo wajali wamba wako Tanzania ni wale wakitoka Kenya wakaenda huko? Wakitoka huko? Na Masai je? Kwa Masai wa Kenya? Wako wa Kenya na Masai wa kule niko. Yani ni wakule kule lakini. Ukienda kule. Ukikuta watu wa wili wanaongea. 
Wa Kenya na wa Tanzania unajua kabisa hapa kuna tofauti. Ya Kiswahili ni kimoja, Kiswahili ni tofauti sana. Wakiongea Kiswahili bado ni tofauti. Wakiongea Kimasai bado utasikia tu hapa. Sio sio hii moja. Na hii sehemu ya damu mbichi ni ukweli ama ni zinawanga tu ya kaya ni ukweli mbona mbona mtu wakunya damu ya bile kwa mbichi damu mbichi ya ni kutuwa tu kwa ngombe unakue ya ni kaka mbichi ya ni kaki kwa ngombe ay ya ni kia ya ni kaki kwa ngombe lakini sio kwamba ngombe mpondemu ngombe ile mnono mnono mbona usipike lakini alafu nani inaingia inatoka inatoka inapotelewa na kitu ikipotelewa unaitumia hapo kuji wa moto kwa mfano mtu amejeruhiwa kwa mfano kufanya kazi za kajikata au kajikoa akawa kuna kamiti ka kutoboa kakao ka kutoboa sana damu imemwagika haya swali nyingine ni alafu mwingine anaweza katembea sana na wanawake mpaka saa nyingine unakuta akinywa uji uji natoka hivyo akinywa maziwa inatoka hivyo hivyo nyeupe hivyo hivyo kama inatamkia anatoa ya dume ya dume ndio mtu aitakaye haya na swali jingine maana mwingine anaweza kaishiwa swali jingine ni mbona mwe mnabeba sword mwe mnabeba hii inaitwa jiko kwa kimasai sime alale alale sasa kwa kisaidi inaitwa sime kwa kizungu inaitwa sword just game lakini ni kubwa sana mbona mnabeba hiyo ni silaha unabeba hii maana unaweza naweza nikaja nikakutana na mtu ananiambia panda kwenye umri una una panda lakini na unaweza ukapita mahali watu wanakula nyama una una kitu Ya yeah, vita. Vita ikitokea hapa ambaye imetokea ni mtu kufa. Kufa na kupona. Inatoka. Lakini ile ile ngumi kawaida. Kuna pula ngumi lakini ile iweki toka. Labda ukiwa na hiyo, ujeuze namna jeuze. Na inakuwa kali. Kila time ni kali. Sasa kama hiyo kwa ni chap. Yaani kila time. Abuo nyenye. Hii saizi si kali. Hii hata saizi yo kali. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi hapa So guys, uh, I'm trying to ask him why Maasai community they always have this one by their side. Eh? He's telling me like they always work with it because sometimes he may get somewhere where someone wants a tree to be cut, he just use it to cut. Some people are eating meat and you don't have something to cut, you just cut. And in case there are somewhere people are fighting using uh, Like we have people are fighting using maybe pangas to defend himself using this one. So, it, but mostly it's not used for for fight. It's just for <laughs> it like how will I put? It? Uh, it's just uh, it's just part of their culture. It's their culture for them to have sword by their by their side. He's a Maasai from Tanzania. And so I was asking like what is the difference between the Maasai from Tanzania and the Maasai from Kenya and he's telling me like there's no difference between the languages they understand each other purely well and then there's a community called the Luo community in Tanzania there's the, the Luo community and also in Kenya there's the Luo community so he was I was asking him what is the difference between them and he was telling me like the Luo from the, the Luo who are found in Tanzania they are the ones who came from Kenya you know But there are Maasai from Tanzania who have been there originally and those who have been in Kenya originally. 
and then there's a community called the Korea community. He was telling me like uh, in Tanzanian army, most of them they are most of army in Tanzania they are made from people from the Korea community. It's a community mostly found in Isbania, the border between Kenya and Tanzania. And Nikikuliza Yero Maisha Kenya in a kupeleka aji. <laughs> so I'm asking him like what how is life in Kenya taking him? Maisha ya Kenya na kupela kaji bro. Oh maisha Kenya. Ukiambua sasa rudi kwenu tafurahia kurudi ama uta ama ama umetoshaka ukaa Kenya. Ah sasa na faida kurudi. Eh? Rudi kwenu. Eh. Yeye ni kumoto. Lakini si Kenya kuna amani. Eh? Kenya si kuna amani. Eh? 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 Lakini mimi niko na uhakika nikiingia pale Tanzania nitajulikana wewe sio mtanzania nitajulikana tu nitajulikana very sana 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 mimi nimemaliza na hivi ni tani yote sijulikani mimi ni wapi kila mmoja ananiuliza tu wewe ni wapi Masai au wapi kila mmoja ananiuliza kama pale hembu pale kuna watu wanaiza viatu pale na unataka Uganda au ni Masai wa kutoka Uganda wewe unataka kitu pale kwa barabara ile jioni napanga kitu mingi pale. Aone kijana kutoka Uganda. Na kwa mtu anauliza ni ngumu sana. Lakini wewe ukienda hapo, ukienda nchi nyingine, utajulikana wewe ni mkenya. Yaani utajulikana wewe sio hiyo, sio hiyo kanzi wewe. Eh, lakini kuna kitu. Mhm. Pale pale na nini? Pale hapo. Wako wengi sana wa kule kule. Eh, hata wengine wanatamka hivyo akiuza dawa. Mhm. Na hiyo hapo. Anaanza na Najua kurudi huko sio kazi. Kujoza huko ndio kazi. Kwa sababu ungeenda nyumbani zaidi kumaliza miezi mitano. Lakini nikija hapa naweza nikakaa mwaka. Sasa kurudi itakuwa kazi kubwa kutoka pale kwa muda ama ni kazi gani itakuwa ngumu? Kurudi kurudi huko au? Eh. Au kwenda kule? Kwenda kule? Eh. Najua kwetu, kia hizi nikaenda kukaa sana kwa sababu huku, huku sindiwa kuna kai. Yee! Kwa nikienda kule, kaenda kukaa kia kia mwa mna kazi. Nazima ni huku nikia nika kute unga. Sana, lakini mabubuli, kila mahali ipo. Mabubuli likuwa kila mahali, kila mahali. Kila mahali ipo, halikuwa ni dumi ipo. Najua sasa ule ni kile inabidi ya akuaparate na hale wale wakutoka inti kiyo za marekani wale Hile? Anawagopa sana kukondoleo kama Kama ma... Kama mwenzake ee 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 Guys, I was trying to check if there is a cassava, but too bad, there isn't. I'm going to be doing a panda trainer. I'm going to be doing a panda trainer. I'm going to be doing a panda trainer.
Ile niweze kupanda hizi sukuma. Na hiyo. Eh? Na hiyo na hiyo hapo. Hii itabakia tu maana hiyo ikafika. Naitwa muungano na serikali ya muungano wa Jamhuri wa Tanzania. Mm. Ni uongozi wa tano ama ni wa sita? Wa tano. Sasa ulifika kura? Kama ulikuwa Kenya tu. Ilikuwa kubwa kura? Eh. Ya nani? Ya magufuli hapo. Eh, ya magufuli ya kurudi mara ya pili. Unipiga? Lakini hivi mbona Tanzania wanapenda wanapenda umbea hivyo? Mmoja Haiko Tanzania tu wanapenda umbea yani. Yaani maana kwa sababu si ni umbea 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 ni kweli ama ni uongo. Naweza kusikiliza kama kwa mtandao. Mimi watu wao wanapenda tu. Hata ukiangalia kwa media za online. Hao tu wanapenda umbea. Kwa huku. Eh, kwa huku. Umbea unatembea sana. Kwa huku. Sijawahi kukuta ushabiki wa majira. Wanabishana. Lakini kule kwetu wanaweza wakabishana mpaka wengine wanapiga Ya mpira tu. Ya tu hiyo lakini mwenza kwa anacheza wapi nchi za nje. Eh? Alafu mshabiki huko unapiga huko na mnapiga. Wale wanakula pesa, yeye mnakula ngumu. Ile ile kitu ambayo imaitokea hapa Kenya ni mashabiki kujiua kwa sababu ya sisi ya Arsenal. Ah wale walikuwa mashabiki sana wa Arsenal. Kuna na na mwaka fulani kulikuwa na kiombe mejiwe manake ya Arsenal amejua mwenyewe kwa kwa hiyo sio kwa wao ah akajua yeye mwenyewe ndiye amsee ndio wanaekeleana bet simu fulani ikishinda mimi nakupatia mke wangu uende naye habari na huyo mwana kuna wale watu ambao ambao tunaitwa kama vile nyinyi mna tamaduni zenu kuna wale watu bado uko ndani ndani kwa utamaduni kabisa unapata kwamba wanafuata majalti ya wazee wao mzee wako ikuja kukwambia leo nenda kwa mtu fulani anafuata tu yani maana yake bado amefumbafika kiakili ndani bado hawaelewi kuna ni kama mwenyewe sinta kufanya. Ni kama sasa nikuuliza kama kwenu kama kwenu kwa tamaduni za Kimasai eh. Mm. Kuna zile tamaduni zenu na itikadi zenu ambazo mnafuata na kuna zile bado sasa zimepita na wakati. Mm. Na kama kitambo mtu anasemekana wasana wapashe tohara, si ndio? Hizi mm. hawapashi. Unaona? Hizo ni tamaduni ambazo zinazidi sana wakati. Bila tu sasa kuna bado tumeza vizuri kuna wale wa Masai bado wako hizo hizo wale wazee kitambo sana. Kwamba Kwamba eh kwamba natajua eh kuna hapo ndani baje ndani hii ipo kabisa iko eh iko kabisa na kwamba na kutoenda shule sasa hivi sasa hivi ni kwamba sasa hivi kwa wiki sana mtoto akisha akikama iko shuleni akifunga shule baka shule ifunguliwe ile ya mwezi baka shule ifunguliwe tayari kaita bwana kitumizi huko ndio unaweza kuenda kidogo na ile na hiyo kuoza watu hiyo unapata mtando kwa na wazo kwa mzee bado iko lakini sasa hivi wanaelewa maelewano maelewano sio lazima maelewano maana anaweza akaenda kwa wakorofiana au anaweza akaenda Aisha kama amesoma mm. akishia enda sekondari mm. omba Mungu mm. na ngombe zimeisha enda mali imeisha na ngombe zimeisha biwa mali zimeisha enda eh mali imeisha enda na ni yule enda sekondari mpaka mm. amalize mm. unakuta unaambiwa anaenda shule hapo mm. sasa ni mtakatifu ni mtu baba ai ameenda shule
So guys, uh, I'm going to end this video from this point and uh, I hope like you've enjoyed the little chat that we had with my friend and uh, we've had a little conversation with him and uh, some of the stuff that we talked about was the, uh, the, the, the beliefs that they have in their community as a Maasai community like a uh, long time ago the girl child was not entitled to be, to be educated and uh, they used to, remar to marry the young girls, the old men but he has told me like right now things have changed and uh, girls are being allowed to go to school and when, uh, when a person goes to school they are allowed to choose whom to marry so those kind of stuff they they have been erased by the the, the changing in time and like everything, the world is evolving and everywhere we are facing evolution. So, we just going to, generally that's how we clear. So the next thing that I will, I'll do, I'll just come with a fork gem and then I, I dig this place and prepare them to plant the cuttings of the kills. So, I'm not going to keep you for long here. I will end this video from this point and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed kindly. 96% of you haven't subscribed even. Please, please, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That's the only way that you're going to support me. And uh, subscription is free. It's free of charge. You're not going to be charged anything. And that's the only way that you can support me. And uh, I will appreciate. So guys, I am going to finish up this place. And then... I will see you on the next video. So, from me to you, adios. <laughs>